Okay, so as you can see, these shirts have now been bleached. These are the ones that I subbed first. They've been washed and dried, and this is how they've turned out. So now we're gonna go ahead and press these that I bleached first. So we're gonna come over here to the heat press. Lay it on here. And this is another thing that I didn't go over, but when you're bleaching first, um, you're gonna wanna use the uh, butcher paper or parchment paper. And you wanna use a new sheet every single time because once I pull this off, after this has been pressed, the design's gonna kind of be inky onto this. And if you go to use it again, it's gonna mess up another shirt. So, okay, so we're gonna press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. When this is done, I'm going to spray the shirt with peroxide. You're going to be able to see the scorch marks. So it's going to be, it's not as bad on the blue shirts, but there will be a little bit of um, browning around the image. So we're going to spray that and it will take away those marks. Okay, lift it up. We've got our design. Okay, and like I said, this one you're not gonna see the brown marks as much. And then this is a spray bottle that I use. This is 100% peroxide. I don't add water or nothing to it. And um, we're gonna mist this, not get it soaked, just mist it like this, just kind of go in over any spots that you think might need it a little bit more. And you can either just sit it under here like this for a few minutes, or you could take this shirt like this and sit it. But you don't want to leave it like this too long, because I've had a couple times where it's had a burn line right there. So we're just going to let it sit, and that's it. Okay, so here's the two side by side. As you can tell, this one's a lot more faded 
than this one is. Um, but I might throw this one into the washer and then show you guys how it looks afterwards just to show you that it's not going to fade and look like this. It will stay really pigmented how it looks here. All right, so now we're gonna do the red one so we can do a comparison on that. We're gonna put the design on here. And like I said, new piece of paper over top every time. As you can tell, I don't know if you're able to see it on the camera, but this does have that previous design kind of inked onto it. So that's why I'm saying don't keep keep using the same piece of paper because the shirt's white where you're placing it and it, it'll get ink all over that white area and you don't want to do that because you're not going to be able to get it off. We're gonna spray with peroxide. Like I said, we're just lightly misting over the design. You don't wanna soak it. And then let it sit under there until it dries.